salute to hoops guys welcome back to the channel another day another video another day in the sports card world the mood is already set as you can tell by our lighting i wanted to make this a brief video for you guys because my last two have been a little on the longer side so this is going to be a shorter video uh first off i want to thank you guys for all the support on the channel we are up to 316 subscribers on the salute to hoops channel which is amazing i appreciate you guys for all the support Thank you guys so much, and hopefully I can continue to bring you guys this content. Uh, today, we're going to go over the WhatNot app and a little do a little bit of review and a little walkthrough on it and just show you guys what it's all about because I knew nothing about it. So hopefully this is a pretty beneficial video for everyone. So we'll get into that right now, and then when we come back, I will show you guys what I have actually purchased on there. I have made some purchases. I literally made my first purchase on there within like the first 10 minutes of downloading the application on my phone uh, so we'll show you guys that and then that'll be the end of the video so uh, we'll go ahead and get to the walkthrough right now and I will see you guys in just a second all right guys so here we have the whatnot app I had just found out about this app uh, about a week ago or so so I figured if I didn't know about it maybe a lot of other people in the hobby didn't know about it either so this could be a pretty helpful video this is the home screen here uh, those ones that are in orange right there those are live auctions currently going on that uh, gives a brief description on what the seller is selling in them and how many people are in the auction currently and if we scroll all the way to the right uh, the ones that are not in orange uh, these are scheduled auctions uh, for the day which is also pretty sweet because if you're following a certain person you know exactly when they're gonna be on and it gives you a brief description on what the seller will be selling so let's scroll all the way over and we can take a look at what a live auction looks like for you guys. So this guy appears to be selling slabs all day. Brief connection screen and then it takes you to the lobby itself. It looks like a Tyler Hero PSA 10. Uh, it tells you the amount of people that are in the auction. There's a live chat function right there as you can see. And then the bidding is located at the bottom there. And we'll see. Hey, there you go. All right, our per first sell on there. Nice to get that on video. 69 bucks, giggity giggity. And then the next auction will start. So the seller dictates how long the auction is. It's typically 15, 30, or 60 second auctions. And when you're setting up your account, you just put in your debit or credit card information and that's what allows you to bid. I purchased some items on here and it's a pretty seamless transition. Uh, and overall a friendly app so as you can see there's currently bidding going on in this another cool function about this app is that it's really hard to snipe on here uh, when the auction gets down to a certain amount of seconds left and you put a bid in it'll add an additional 10 seconds uh, for anyone that wants to to jump in and go head to head with there is a sudden death option on here where the seller can actually take that function off and whatever the card for whatever it sells for it's what it sells for so a dangerous thing about this is that it's not like ebay where you can just put in a large number here and it'll take your bid at the lowest bid if you were to bid 200 dollars on that card that we just saw you would be buying it for 200 bucks so just be careful of that at the bottom here we have a little marketplace looks pretty similar to mercari i've never purchased anything through the marketplace i've only done it on the auctions uh, but here we have a trey young prism a PSA 10 for $5.99, a little bit out of my price range, uh, but there's various items uh, for pretty much anyone in the hobby to buy on here. A lot of sealed wax and just an overall pretty friendly application. It's also got a search function as well here. So we'll just search for Bull Bull just for an example. Let me fix the typo here. Perfect. So we search for Bull Bull and it gives you a list of Bull Bull cards on the marketplace uh, this application is in the beta stages still so I believe there's still a lot of kinks to be worked out uh, I kind of find it hard to believe that only three people are selling bull bull cards but it gives you like products that bull bull is associated with so that's pretty cool as well and there is just a ton a ton of product on here like I said I haven't bought anything off the marketplace I've just purchased off the auctions which I'll show you guys during this video while you're setting up the, your account, you can actually put put in what you'll be purchasing. 
here's a list of uh, what it looks like when you purchase an item here and it gives you a tracking number as well overall guys definitely impressed with this app and we'll definitely be making more purchases on it in the future all right guys we are back so hopefully you guys enjoyed that portion of this video just a little brief overview on what that app is like if you haven't signed up already it's free to sign up go ahead and try it out today guys and see it see how you like it i really think that once they get all the kinks worked out and the beta stage is over that's going to be a successful app uh, especially for the uh, the hobby just a new new way to sell because prior to that people were literally doing the exact same thing but it was on instagram and you know the shipping wasn't as fast and you know there was always something so here there's some transparency and you don't have to worry about you know the slight chance of getting scammed or anything like that which is amazing so now we'll go over the cards that i purchased from that app so far shipping was super quick and uh, seems like they take their job real serious on there so uh that's uh, definitely another perk of that app so let's just get into it just some lower end guys uh, to begin with here some josh green i got I think i got these for five bucks but i'm a fan of this kid if you guys have been watching this channel for uh, at any point this year you guys know that i'm a fan of this josh green kid so we just have the regular prism base josh green and then the select uh base josh green right here as well not bad at all next we have two cards up so the original auction on this was just for this lucas simonic psa 9 silver prism rookie and then as the time was winding down, they actually threw in this Kyrie Irving, which I wasn't hell-bent hell bent on getting. I was really more so interested in Lucas Simonic, but hey, we'll take the Kyrie Irving as well. Both PSA 9s, both silvers. Um, I don't know what this Kyrie goes for, but uh, who knows, I might try to sell it. It was just kind of an add-in and kind of just a perk of the deal, so we'll take it, we'll take it. Uh, this luca though you guys know if you've been watching my channel for i guess the last year and a half now i really got a luca simonic uh geez during the quarantine i guess you could say so hopefully he gets some time this year he's having some time to develop if the spurs give him an opportunity i really think that we can see something special from that kid only 20 only 21 years old only 21 years old so there's a lot of time there next up all all three of these came in a lot i believe this first one actually got thrown in though and that is the kobe white prism rookie base psa 10 dope card love kobe white i'm interested to see what the chicago bulls are going to do with him this year since we made so many roster moves is he going to run that six man option is he going to start uh who knows but i am i guess it's a good problem to have when you have too many good players on your team so we'll see what the bulls do with him at this point, I'm just glad the Bulls are in are being talked about uh, in a in a positive light instead of a negative light. So we shall see. We shall see. A couple more months. Next up in that lot was the Kobe White Red Mosaic PSA nine, not numbered or anything, but a gorgeous card nonetheless. And we will be adding this to the Kobe White PC. I do have a lot of Kobe White graded things, but uh, I don't think I have any graded mosaic, especially a red one. I'm not too sure. I think red came out of Hobby, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe that's where the red mosaic came from. And then last but not least, we have another Kobe White Silver Prism Mosaic, also PSA 9. Gorgeous card. And I, I'm i trying to think back to the mosaic days. And I don't know if I actually pulled any... Kobe White Silver Prism. I'd have to to double check on that, but beautiful card. I think I got all these for. I want to say, man, I'd have to look at the the app. Uh, over a hundred bucks, definitely, obviously, but it was less than two hundred, maybe one fifty. I don't know, but I will. Uh, I'll definitely take those. Definitely a cool addition to the PC. And that's it for, for right now, you guys. I haven't purchased anything else. I'm saving up for the Chicago Sports Spectacular, which is the first week of September, which I'll be getting some footage at. And hopefully Julius Irving is going to be there. I'm really hoping to get his autograph. So we'll see if we can make that happen for sure. Um, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I know I am. If you're going to be there, let me know. But like I said earlier, short video for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. 
thank you for all the support, guys. And it's just, I'm speechless about it. I never imagined we'd even have this many subscribers on the channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy.